McDonald's is one of my favorite fast food chains right now. Why? Because of this. The McRib is back. A delicious porky slab of goodness covered in barbecue sauce with pickles and onions on there and a soft sandwich roll. Mmm. This is my favorite sandwich in fast food, at least one of them. But it's not going to be around forever. And when it goes away, what do we do? Top secret recipes. Top secret recipes. Top secret recipes. Todd Wilbur. Todd Wilbur. Please welcome Todd Wilbur. All right, so first things first, we need to get a few ingredients. Um, we do these things kind of gorilla style, so we're going to go into the store, pick up some ingredients, but I think we should use this cell phone camera so people don't notice what we're doing. Let me give you this, Pam Cam. Switch to that, and then we'll do some shopping, okay? You ready? Let's rock. All right, so we need pork spare ribs. Not baby backs, spare ribs. These right here. We'll cut the meat off the bones. Perfect. Now we need sauce. What I did was I went to McDonald's, got their sauce, and did side-by-side -side taste tests with their sauce and a bunch of these barbecue sauces on the shelf. What did I find out? One of these tastes almost exactly like the stuff in McDonald's. Hunt's original barbecue sauce. That's the ticket. All right, we need the right kind of rolls. It's a very popular brand that's perfect for this. Here, right here. Sara Lee. Party and delicious center split deli rolls. All right, we want sliced pickles, dill pickles. Come on. Alright, uh, uh, let's see, we need the little ones. Uh, hamburger dills, right here. Any brand will do. Hamburger dills, perfect. Get this, now we just need onions. Here we go, onions. One white onion. It's a nice one, perfect. Get you back at the lab. Need a cutting board, knife. This is a boneless pork slab that's in the sandwich. So we just want this part. Okay. Pour your pork into your food processor. Add to it three tablespoons of water and some sugar. Oh, jeez. And a teaspoon of sugar. Half a teaspoon of salt. Okay. Then we grind it up. I love this part. We want three ounces. That's three ounces. Okay. You might want to wet your fingers for this because it's kind of sticky. And take your pork and just form it into patties about the size of the buns that you got. A little bit bigger, actually. All right. So we've got our four slabs of pork laid out on this pan. I'm going to put it in the freezer. And now we wait two hours till they're frozen solid. couple of hours, our patties are frozen solid. We want to brown our uh, sandwich rolls. Nice golden brown. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. But now, we go with our pork. Take your frozen pork slab, pop it into the pan. You want to go three or four minutes till it's brown, then flip it over another three minutes or so. This is where we'll do the, uh, the clock wipe. Boop. Look at that. Perfectly brown, beautiful pork slab. Get your tongs, go right into the sauce, flip it over, put it right onto our sandwich roll onto the bottom. Your dill pickle slices, one, two, and I've chopped up the onion, and you need like, I don't know, two tablespoons or so of this. Just sprinkle that on top like so, and put the crown on it, and you have just cloned a McRib. 
All right, let's check it out. It's hot. Oh. And you, um, what I like to do is actually nuke this for 15 seconds before you eat it because that makes the, uh, the bread nice and soft. But I'm going to just give it a taste anyway. That is so good. Oh, sh**. Wow. That's a McRib. Now when the McRib is gone forever, you don't have to miss it. You can make it right at home. So good. Oh.